In this tutorial, we are going to learn about some more commands in SQL. Now, in the last tutorial, we have learned about the create database command, then show database command, then we have used the command use, then show tables command, which shows the tables in the current database in which we are working, then use database name allows us to enter inside a database and show databases shows the databases that are present in the current system then we learned about create table command which create used to create a table here we have created a table with the roll number name and marks as the columns and we have used the command describe to view the table structure now let's enter some data inside this table now to view the data we have to use the select command that is select star means all data from the table name that is the IP. Here it is written empty set because we have not inserted any data inside this table. Now let's insert some data here. So the command will be insert into then the table name that is the IP. Then values. Always remember we will not write value we will use value v a l u e s then the first roll number suppose i am giving it one then comma since one is an integer so we don't have to write it inside the apostrophes then the name suppose i am writing it here current comma then suppose marks and giving it here 90 then semicolon so here insert into the command then this one is a table name then values then the value here since there are four three columns so i am writing here three values now here it is written query okay means the data is inserted that's why it's written query okay now let's check select start from IP so it is giving this data showing this data with this now suppose if instead of this one suppose I am writing giving again as one then in place of place of suppose current I want to write suppose move it. now here as you can see one current I have already inserted then again I am writing here one move it. and then again 90 suppose I am pressing it here and now here error is showing because duplicate entry one for key primary means here since the roll number is primary key so we cannot insert once again this value 1 so we have to change the values now suppose you want to enter more than one row then we will write move it then suppose here I am giving it here 95 and suppose you want to insert two rows at one row then we will here press the comma then again add one more row suppose two roll number then again three then comma here the data can be written in double quotes or single quotes now here i am writing here like naman and giving some marks here suppose 56 now suppose i am writing 56 
even if we write this 56 in single quotes then also this 56 will always only be entered now i am pressing it here now see query okay two rows affected means two rows added records to duplicate zero then suppose i am right once again using this command here do rows here two rows are inserted in one go that's all for today